All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over shoes for boxing and shoes that I use for training. I wanna preserve my boxing shoes, save them for the ring, save them for sparring, make them last as long as I can. Now you're gonna find with boxing training that you go through shoes hard and fast and it can get really expensive. I would say that you probably go through about four to six pairs of shoes before you even go through a pair of gloves. This is gonna be more of an informative video on shoes, so sit tight for those of you who want a quick video. It's not gonna be one. Really, the truth of the matter is, is that boxing shoes are almost like a leather sock with an outer sole without really much support. Here we are, we're looking at a basic boxing shoe. First of all, there isn't really much support going on in this shoe, and but boxing shoes aren't meant to really give you that much support. So that's why I don't really like to use them for training. I like to save them for sparring sessions and then obviously you use them for the fights. They're meant to be lightweight. This thing is super lightweight. And see this outer sole here? It has a little pivot ring right there and flat, no tread. This outer sole is really meant so that you can move easily around the ring pivot, no grips, no angles, nothing really extra special, no added weight to the shoe. Now one thing in general that you're looking at for support in a boxing shoe or any kind of shoe, and not all of them have this, is you wanna look for what's called a hard heel counter. See this part back right here? Most of you, if you buy a good pair of shoes, this is gonna be hard like a rock. It's a hard piece of plastic. That's what keeps your foot stable and locked in the shoe. Now this one right here, you can see it doesn't have a hard heel counter. So you're not really getting much support. So if you're looking for a boxing shoe, that is a little more durable, more support, you're at least gonna be looking for a firm heel counter. The other thing that you're gonna see in the more expensive shoes is something along the forefoot to give you more lateral stability. You're gonna see some reinforcement there and this shoe doesn't have it. So that's what they've done with the Nike shoe is made it a little more supportive. Now boxing shoes are gonna serve their purpose for your fights and for sparring. Lightweight, smooth, flat outer sole, basically fits like a leather sock with an outer sole really not much to it, just light and easy to move around in. However, that is not necessarily ideal for training. All right, so basically what I've used for training in terms of a different shoe is an indoor court shoe. This is the type of shoe that I've fallen in love with for most of my training, especially if you're doing burpees, you're doing lateral drills, plyometric drills, training on wood, training on concrete. Not everybody's gonna be training in a nice, rubber matted gym and have access to all their training in the ring. I mean, if you're at the pro level, you're gonna get all those amenities. But if you're training on concrete, on wood, on industrial rubber, if you want a shoe with a little more durability. And so the closest shoe that I like that's come to a boxing shoe with all the support is an indoor court. So you're looking at like either an indoor court like this or what I really like, a badminton shoe. These are one of my favorites. Now, I'm not sponsored by either of these brands or companies. This is what I like. Typically, I've been using Mizuno for the past about 17 years, and lately I discovered Yonex. Basically, this midsole here is relatively flat and level, similar to a boxing shoe. So it's not like you're elevated, which I'm gonna show you with a running shoe. Also, see this black part here. This is the lateral support that you're getting. The, your foot is sitting a little bit deeper in the shoe, it's relatively flat, and you're getting support from this uh, on the side, this sort of rubber reinforcement along the side, that's giving you lateral support right there. As well, you're looking at flat on the bottom, so nothing curvy, no rounded edges, right? A little bit of tread, that's not good for the canvas. If you're gonna be in a boxing ring, it's not ideal for that type of situation. This is gonna be more if you're on industrial rubber, wood, concrete, or if you're just training at a regular gym. So a little bit of tread, not ideal for the ring, but good for the rest of your other training. The other thing is fairly lightweight. These are pretty lightweight, so it's not gonna weigh you down. If you go for an outdoor court, tennis shoe or basketball shoe, they are built a little bit sturdier. They're built a little bit heavier. So you're gonna get more stability, you're gonna get something that's more durable, but it's gonna be heavier. And so that's why I've come to the indoor court as something that I like because it has that combination of stability and lightweight combined. Of course, you're gonna look at here, hard heel counter, you know, very stable across the middle, right? So your foot isn't gonna be sliding and moving all around inside this kind of shoe. Indoor court is definitely one of my favorite for training in boxing. These things are durable. They will last you much longer than a boxing shoe. Wrestling shoes. Now wrestling shoes I've also used and I really like them. Wrestling shoes are built really well. See, you got a nice firm heel counter there. 
the, the heel and the structure is built really nice at the back. So you're getting a lot of support. The front is very flexible right here. And so you're getting similar to a box shoe. The difference is with this wrestling shoe, see how it's curved like this. And I find that I don't like that as much for boxing. I'm not as grounded. The curve is because wrestlers are putting their bodies at extreme angles. So they need grip. Their foot needs to grip at every angle from arching to shooting. So they need to have grip and tread pretty much at those more extreme angles. So a wrestling shoe is nice and typically they're built a bit better. There's more support laterally. There's more support right across the heel at the back than a boxing shoe, but they're not going to give you that nice, smooth, flat feel of a boxing shoe. Don't get me wrong on this. A boxing shoe is the best shoe for boxing. Lightweight, flat, smooth, outer sole. However, they're not durable. And if you're doing a lot of training in them, then you're going to wear through them quick. It's going to cost you a lot of money. The dollars are going to add up as you're constantly having to replace them. Close to a boxing shoe, you can use this in the ring. You can use this in your gym if you have a nicer facility. This is going to do the trick. However, it's not going to have that same smooth feel of a boxing shoe, but also a nice alternative. All right, now another thing that I've done recently is I got myself a set of Weave Custom Inner Soles. Now basically what this is, is an inner sole custom design for my foot. So with the Weave app, they take a picture of your foot and they track over 200 points in the shape of your foot and they give you a custom inner sole supportive to your specific foot. Most shoes are designed for everybody. They come up with an inner sole that is sort of designed that will cover most of the population. And so this is what you get. You know, this is even in a good shoe. And you can just imagine in your boxing shoe, it's gonna be even worse. Boxing shoe is basically just a piece of foam. So if you're training those, you're getting no arch support, you're getting no support of your whole foot, you're getting no lateral support. And this is essentially what you're getting is just a piece of foam. So with the weave inner soles right here, you can see this is hard. Okay, so my heel sits in there really nice. It's custom designed to my arch. You can see this is hard. And then this here, has the flexibility for your forefoot to move. This is something that's really helped me if I'm in boxing shoes a lot and I want a little bit more support. These Weave Custom Inner Soles. If you want a set of these, I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can use the code JASON20 and that will get you 20% off. These have been a game changer for me, at least in terms of getting more support in my boxing shoe and in my regular shoes. Something much more durable and custom than your regular inner sole. Okay, last bit on shoes while we're on the topic. Running shoes, you're gonna to want to use actual running shoes for running. And the reason why is they're designed for the forward movement to propel you forward. A couple things about a running shoe. This midsole here is a little bit elevated compared to sort of a court shoe or a tennis shoe. And there's much more absorption of shock for the materials in this midsole right here. And I, ideally that's for when, if you heel strike or if you, you're a mid striker, I'm more of a mid striker with my foot, this is gonna absorb the shock going through. Also, you see this curved front. This makes it easier for forward motion. So basically the shoe is designed to propel you forward, absorb shock through your heel and the middle of the foot. This is not important for when you're boxing because most of the time you're on the balls of the feet, you're moving laterally. Your foot is sitting higher in the shoe. You're sitting on top of this. And even though this is built well, there's not any support laterally this way it's from side to side starts. You're not deep in the shoe. So you don't want to use these for, for boxing or boxing training with the side to side movements because you're going to go through these shoes really quick. You're going to wreck them. They're going to start to rip on the side. But if you take care of them well for running, they can last you quite a long time. Usually I won't even replace my running shoes until after maybe like two, three years. I know they say every six months, but I personally think that that's a sales job. If you take care of your running shoes, they can last you three to four years. If, especially if you're only using them for running and forward motion. Running shoes, ideal for all your sprints, uh, your intervals and your long distance running. These are what I would recommend. Final type of shoe, a trainer, a cross trainer. A cross trainer is basically a combination between a court shoe at the back and a running shoe at the front, somewhere in between that range. So you can see it's got a bit of a thick midsole. It does have some lateral support in case I'm doing some side to side movement. Here, the front is very flexible. It's curved, designed for me to go forward. It's basically the all round shoe. If I want to do a little bit of running, maybe I'm doing a little bit of training, conditioning, maybe I'm doing a little bit of court, that kind of stuff, a little bit of boxing, 
A trainer is sort of a good blend if you're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. However, I personally don't like to use a trainer for boxing because I find with this curved forefront and the elevated midsole at the back and the way it's built, even though it has stability, I find that my foot tends to jam near the front of it with all my side to side motions. This is still geared a lot towards either stationary work or a little bit of running. Compared to something like this where you can see right here, you're getting much more support in the shoe. It's designed for that stop and start at the balls of the feet. Now I know the question in your mind probably is still, what about boxing shoes? And my opinion is that pretty much almost all the boxing shoes out there are all gonna do the job. Whether you're looking at Adidas, whether you're looking at Nike, whether you're looking at the title or ringside, they're all meant to do the job because a boxing shoe is really not a fancy shoe. It's basically a leather sock with an outer sole and a very thin midsole. It's really not meant to offer you support. It's meant to be lightweight and to help you get around the ring. All right guys, so there it is. All the knowledge I have about shoes, boxing shoes and training shoes and what I've been doing for the past 20 years. You might have your own insight into boxing shoes. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. And I hope this video was helpful and helps you navigate the shoe scene as far as your training goes. All right, thanks for watching guys, peace. Check out the Weave custom insoles. You'll only have to get one pair and then you'll basically be set. These are custom designed to your foot. The app is gonna take a picture of your foot from the top and on the side and design something for you and once you have them, then you'll be set.